Good morning, it is Jamie the Coop Keeper, and I'm here to show you how to make my, well it's not my laundry soap, it's just a recipe that I found online and I started making a couple years ago and I've never looked back. It is homemade laundry detergent. I've tried the um, powders, I actually like the liquid better. And this costs about 75 cents a gallon to make your own laundry soap. Um, what's not to love? I'm going to show you how to do it really quick. It's so quick and easy. All the things that you need you can get at the grocery store or the Walmarts or Kmart, anything like that. What I did first was to bring four cups, oh, can't see me, four cups of water to boil. And I just use the pans that I cook with. It's just soap and they're stainless steel pans, so I'm not worried about them. And what I've done is I've grated one half of a bar of Fells Naphtha. I adore Fells Naphtha soap. I like saying it, Fells Naphtha. But what I love about it more than anything is that it reminds me of my mom because my mom uses the soap all the time to scrub out stains and everything like that. So it brings back memories of my mother. My mother was like the queen of laundry and I've always loved laundry day. Um, so you're going to put all that grated soap in the pan and then in this bowl here I have a half a cup of each, one half cup of um, the washing powder and half a cup of the borax and that's going to go in there. And then you're just going to stir that around until it melts and I usually put it back on the stove for a little bit because it takes that soap a while to dissolve. But like I said, I have always loved laundry day. There's just something about it that is so comforting to me. It, it restores order into the home. I like having a laundry day. I don't have a whole lot of laundry. You guys know it's just me and Glencoe here mainly. Um, so I have my sheets and a load of towels and uh, maybe three loads of clothes a week. That is it. I don't have a bunch of children and laundry so I guess I could understand maybe if you guys dread it. I love it. Every Monday morning I know that's what I'm doing. I'm doing laundry. I love hanging it on the line. We don't use a dryer anymore, but when we did use a dryer, I loved that too. I loved hearing the clacking, the zippers clacking, and just the sound of the dryer and taking out the warm clothes. I think that um, being a homemaker is very rewarding. I love it. I love being home. I love taking care of my family. And I think just having a fresh, clean bed to sleep every night is one of life's simplest pleasures. I'm going to put this back on the stove. It's almost completely melted. It'll just take a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty. I simmered this for probably about three, four minutes on the stove, and as you can see, it's a little bit bubbly. This is a very low sudsing detergent, and I don't want to tell you, if you have a high efficiency washer, I know you, you're supposedly supposed to use a special soap, and the soaps that you use for those are low sudsing. This is low sudsing. I don't want to be responsible for you messing up your machine, but I know personally if I had a washing machine from this decade, I would still probably use this just because of the cost savings. My clothes come out clean, smelling fresh. I do use vinegar in the rinse water for my clothes, everything except the, uh, the towels. I do use uh, downy in the towels, don't hate me. <laughs> but I do use downy in the towels and I still hang all my laundry outside. Today is very gray and dreary and a little bit drizzly, so it's probably going to take my sheets a really long time to dry. Other than that, I hang my clothes inside over heating vent on this awesome clothesline that Glencoe made for me. Um, okay, this, I just used a cat litter container that I had that makes a perfect jug for my laundry soap. And because I used to have to look up the, the recipe every time I made it, I finally just wrote the recipe down on the front of the jug so it comes in super handy. What I did before I'm going to add this soap in is add four cups of hot water to this container. And now this is the part that I almost hate to do on the video camera because I'm a little bit klutzy. Um, I'm going to pour this hot soapy mixture into this and then all I have to do is add a gallon and six cups of hot water to this and shake it 
and I'm set to go. I have about two gallons of laundry detergent for about 75 cents. And that is frugalicious. Um, oh, okay, it's not too bad. I'm doing pretty good here. Okay. There you go. As you can see, it takes about five minutes to make your own laundry soap. Go ahead and look online and find some other recipes that you might like better than this one, but give this one a try because this one has been my favorite. It doesn't make like this huge ridiculous uh, amount that you know you would need if you were the Duggars or something like that. It makes just enough for a regular family and um, again the dry I don't quite understand how the dry works because it's just a grated bar of soap with this added in and then you put that in the washer. I don't see how your water could ever get hot enough to completely melt the soap. All right you guys I'm going to do my laundry, I'm going to wash my sheets and make my bed and iron my pillowcases and put a little um, lavender pillow spray on them and restore order into my house. It's Monday morning, so I hope that you're up, I hope that you're active, I hope that you're enjoying being home if you are home. Um, love your family, love yourself, love your home, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.